Hi everyone, this serial video is dedicated to explain you how to write music for the PC-98 with the PMD driver. Before we start, please excuse me for my French accent. I hope we all, we all understand what I say. Uh, I also have a standard microphone and uh, you may have some uh, bad sound sometime, but uh, I guess you'll still be able to understand what I say. So let's begin. Um, PMD is an abbreviation for Professional Music Driver. It was written in 1997 by Masahiro Kajihara and um, Zun of the Toho series used it for um, writing his music for PC-98. Let's talk about the um, PC-98 uh, features uh, in terms of sound design. So it has a total of 16 uh, sound channels. Six of them are FM channels, so uh, an FM channel, uh, FM synthesis, is the kind of music you you hold here um, on the Genesis, that uh, most well-known console which used this kind of sound, but also in the arcades in the 90s and uh, 80s. Uh, it also has three SSG channels. SSG is a static sound generator. Uh, that's your standard beep uh, and boops you you will hear in the um, in most 8-bit computer and console. But here is a very basic variety. Uh, the three channels can only output a square wave of or noise. It also has one ADPCM channel, but I won't tell you how to use it because I don't know. I don't know any everything about uh, the PMD driver, but if you will try, you can probably use it. Uh, there will be links uh, with manuals and uh, interesting uh, website which explain the everything about um, the PMD driver. Uh, lastly, it has si six rhythm channels. The rhythm channels, um, you may have heard them if you already listened to PC-98 music. Uh, the Toe games use them a lot. Uh, this is six channel. Th there are six channels which uh, output can output some rhythm samples. So you may have heard them. Um, let's talk about the tools we are going to need to use to write music for P for PMD. So the first thing you'll need is simply a notepad software. So I'll use uh, Notepad++. Um, it makes uh, the job. But you can also use the, um, the um, standard Windows Notepad. But don't use WordPad or, or Word or um, OpenOffice or LibreOffice. Um, because it would add some uh, formatting uh, text and it would uh, mess up your uh, PMD file and it would not compile. Because yes, you also need the compiler. So the compiler um, is called MC. It's, um, there's a lot of files you'll need, but the, the, really the only one you'll need is MC. Um, You'll also need, uh, because this MC um, compiler is very old from uh, 97, you also need the uh, MS-DOS emulator. The, the MC compiler is an old 16-bit application for DOS, and so uh, you must have it. Uh, finally, you'll need a player to play this song 
and uh, the, the songs you you will make and uh, check uh, if what you're doing is uh, is uh, correct and uh, for this I'm using personally uh, FMPMD 2000 but uh, I know there's also Hoot I never managed to to set it up to work so I st I'm still using FMPMD but uh, it's also a nice uh, a nice player um, now we are going to just set up the show you how to set up the environment and uh, test if uh, it works and you can uh, begin to write your song so um you can already uh, check uh, uh, I'll, I'll upload in the description uh, an archive with all the necessary um, software uh, this will be uh, this uh, this thing I opened here so you'll just have to test uh, if it works so to test it first we need to test the player so uh, since you will probably have uh, downloaded my archive you will have everything you need but this um, how many there is seven seven um, audio files are the sample for the rhythm channel you need to have them in the same um, folder as uh, FMPMD so uh, yeah they are standard samples very short maybe you recognize them uh, from the two games and um, so now you you can test it with a file for example uh, um, I'll include a Atto song to test that would be that would be a good idea let's take for example a, a song I like a lot um, in the sixth one let's put in the songs yeah um, yeah in player okay you have every sound you have even the um, the the sample drum from the rhythm channel you can hear it um, here you can cut the channels to hear only the one you need so for example here I have, I have only the rhythm and um, one thing you may want to test um, if the sound is like this you you notice it lacks something uh, compared to before that's because uh, the rhythm channel are not activated so you have to check this SSG plus RI H I R H Y sorry to add the the drums and the the, um, the rhythm sound needs to be in the same folder folder. So um, when you see you hear that everything is okay, you can uh, reset there. Nice sound. You can close and. Um, the next thing we we may do is test if the compilation work so to do this you'll have to uh, you'll have to open first the, the CMD and um, just go to your folder um, so it's um, desktop PMD and there we can see we have everything we need so in songs I've already uh, placed um, a test, um, test file don't delete it because it may become very handy to later for instruments 
Um, what did I do there? Oh, if I want it to be useful, I'll have to move this there. That's a detail you will understand later. Um, I'll ah oh shit. Let's put it there. And maybe this part can go down. Don't pay attention to this, that's not very important for the moment, but it will later. later. So yeah, you have your test file there, and um, what we will do is that we are going to try to compile it, so to make sure it's ok, we will delete the already compiled file, and then um, in the in the we are in the right folder. Let's uh, run the compila compilator once. So you'll have first to launch the MSDOS emulator. So you have to write msdos.exe. Then um, go into the MC folder, launch the MC uh, compilator. Then you want um, you want to use the slash v um, uh, feature. I don't remember what it does, but uh, I'll ha explain it later in the video because I, I'll have looked at it. So I'll know what it is, but I know you need it, so use it. And then uh, you want the path to your um, test.mml file. So it's songs slash uh, backslash oh, and there it's backslash too I forgot it's Windows it's not the standard way um, and it's test.mml let's try it ok Compli compile completed so this means uh, it works if you have an error uh, like error tree that means there's something wrong in the command or that your file doesn't exist because you give gave a, a wrong uh, path to it or something like this. So once it's done we can go in the player maybe with uh, test.m2 uh, player okay and we have some sounds it's very basic but I'll explain later why I did that uh, again this file this file is going to be very useful to to compose if you're like me and you can't do uh, FM yourself so that's it uh, here you have your en environment uh, ready to write your uh, your song in the next video we are going to see how to do this uh, the main job see you next time